collection groups from uh, Great Lakes. They have a, a group of, of uh, Marines who goes out and collects guys who have gone to their psychiatrist and they're a little bit talking too much. They get rid of them. But they're not told why. They're just told they're enemies or they've done bad things. So they don't, it's kind of like they don't, uh, um, so they won't have any uh, guilt and culpability. They, they make it cold. Just get rid of this guy, okay? Okay, get a promotion, get a new car, get some stock. Uh, after my husband did what he did in Beirut, there, I found these stubs. He got all this stock. You know, AT&T, major stock, just thousands of dollars worth of stock. And it was from a, a, a company that was like a quasi-government company, all on a, a sheet of paper. And of course, it was, it was big, big-time stock. And that's how he was paid off, stock. And, and paid off for? For doing criminal activity, selling weapons, going through uh, Tel Aviv, the, the bank in Rome, mm -hmm. selling the weapons illegally. The, the Israeli agents are the, are the middlemen. And all the money's going to Israel. A lot of, I mean, it really is the truth. Mm -hmm. The money, not just the money that is given to them free and clear, Mm -hmm. But all the criminal, the black budget money that Meyer Lansky's group started back in the 40s has been growing and growing and growing. It's like a pyramid scheme. And the Jesuits, I've been told, are really controlled by this, this group now. I don't, you know. Um, now, surely, Ollie North is a good guy. No, I think he was farmed. You know, he was, uh, but see, Ollie was involved in Vietnam with, the JAGs, covering up a lot of the stuff that was going on. He was involved with a major case where there was a Marine. Um, see, George was, oh, George told me about this. See, George was involved with a lot of the cover-ups of Marines who went crazy. Like, remember this, A Few Good Men, uh, was it A Few Good Men? It was a movie about a Marine colonel. They murdered a guy from, Jack Nicholson played the colonel in this movie. Oh, yeah. You remember? Yeah, and he went on trial. Yes. And, and a George good guy was the chief of staff who tried to cover this up. <coughs> My husband. The true story. The true story. My husband was the guy who was covering this up. They were so arrogant. And it wasn't, it was the, the woman who was a JAG, who got this thing going. It was not the, the Navy JAG, because he was going to cover it up. He was just a loose kind of guy. And if he had been the JAG, then it wouldn't have been prosecuted. But it was the woman who was working with him, because she was a woman, who, who, who got these, these other guys off. They were targeting these other guys. I mean, they would have put him in jail just for a little bit and, you know, let him out, but um, the point is, this guy was murdered, and the colonel laughed it off. It was down there in Guantanamo Bay, and George was the chiefest. It was Al Gray. Al Gray. Hmm. That was, I mean, just that one, just that one alone, and, and Lone Tree, <laughs> they were involved with that. You see, oh, it's, it's, it's just so sick. I mean, they are so easy. Let's break. Okay. I'll tell you. This I is tell you. A, this has been a tremendous. Um, I'm going to let you take this home and read this letter. Or did you take the letter? You got the letter. the letter. Okay. Take, take this and put the letter in there because you'll see the glasses in there. Oh, That's okay. <laughs> Bless your heart, we're sitting through all this. You know, it's just <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't say it on the radar, but I could hear a little bit. <laughs> but it's just, you know, it's my life.